Rapper the Rapper is a game I've been playing since I was a kid. It was a game I got for my birthday when I was 5 years old, and I've been playing it every now and again for nostalgia. The game has had a large impact on me, mainly shaping my taste in games. Rapper the Rapper is a rhythm style game where you press the button in time with the beat. There are 6 stages and the game is relatively short. There are different modes you can get, and there was even a remake of the game on the PS4. Recently, I've been really fascinated with beta builds from my favorite games, and especially a website called The Cutting Room Floor. Links will be in the description. I've been curious what beta changes Parappa has made in their games. Would there even be any? Well, surprisingly, yes. Now I will go through some of these changes in Parappa 1 and 2, and hopefully you will stay entertained while I do it. Making a cake, yes, means you gotta try. I'm doing this for years, but don't ask me why. Now let's start with the classic Parappa the Rapper. This was released in 1996 for the PlayStation 1, and there were a couple of main changes in the beta. In the files for the game, there was a planned Stage 8. Where did the Stage 7 go? Nobody knows. Along with this Stage 8, multiple on findings are inside including these unused graphics. Here we can see some unused graphics of PJ Barry, one of Parappa's friends, facial expressions. We have him opening his mouth and clo opening and closing his eyes in different positions. We also have a graphic of uh, Joe Chin, Parappa's rival, who only appears in cutscenes but is shown here as a graphic. We also have an unused party attendant member was planned to be in stage 6, but for some reason was left out. There is also a graphic for Cheap Cheap Chicken facing forward with her beak open and closed, as well as her facing backwards. There is a graphic for a letter H labeled Hot.Underscore.H.Tim, which my only guess can relate to that gas station, Hot Gas, where Parappa enters in stage 5. There is also a red arrow for unknown purposes. We also have some unused audio. Well, only one. In stage two, when you fail instructor Mussolini, she says, You don't gotta do it again. However, in the files for the game, it seems that before she says that, she was gonna have an additional two words that sentence. Let's take a listen. That's because you gotta do it again. This is pretty much where it ends for the unused findings for the first game. The salt and the pepper. Oh, it's all right, guys. We got no extra. You watch the grill. Control the flame, guys. Follow the rules. Stay productive and wise and good. In 2000, Prep had made another appearance, but as a rare Japanese exclusive McDonald's game. It was this was a game to to promote Prep to, and as well as McDonald's. Very few has changed, but here we can see a different title screen than the original release. Not much is different, but there is an exit button. Where, where would the exit button take you is unknown. Here we can also see changing to the rating meter and the thing on the bottom. Seems like there was going to be no graphic of all the characters you can encounter in the demo, but there is in the final. We can also see that there was some strange McDonald's M as one of the symbols you would have to press. How would this have worked? I have no idea. We also have some unused audio for succeeding and failing a verse. Let's take a listen. It seems that that was all the changes in the McDonald's promo, but there is still more in the actual game release of 2001. Prep of the Rapper 2 was released on the PlayStation 2, and it too goes with minor changes. For instance, these unused tracks were supposedly an alternate loading screen or alternate intro to the game. There also seems to be some unused lines for the in-game trainer, Boxy Boy. Here it is shown that it would say something you would hear in the versus mode, but its but its purposes are unknown. Okay, let's try the next one. In the game, it also has some unused graphics. Here we can see some graphics of Colonel Noodle with power mad and embarrassed expressions. There is also some unused font used for debugging purposes. 
We also have some unused messages, mainly error debug messages. The most interesting is one of them which displays come on grab up. Finally, we have some horrifying beta model for the unfinished boxy boy. Doesn't he just look friendly? And I think this is where our orange padded friend's unused asset journey closes. Make sure to comment and tell me what you think of these beta uncovering videos. I have a lot more ideas for them. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Adios!